So, Jamie, it's been a little while since we've caught up. Can you just recap the last few games for us? Yeah, no problem. Um, obviously, starting with the with the bitten game. Um, obviously, away from home, we we always knew it was going to be a a really kind of tough tough fixture to go into. Um, obviously, that they've they've started the season absolutely flying. Um, in we both went into it unbeaten. I'd probably say the first the first half of that game it was it was quite even, very cagey affair, kind of just scoping each other out. Um, we went we obviously went ahead and we were absolutely just really just the only bit of quality in the whole half from Tom Mack was just absolute worldly of a goal. Um to put us one nil up at half time and to be fair up to that point you'd probably say it was quite even ish and it was kind of like a typical perfect away performance. Um but after half time it was um yeah, it was really dreadful to be honest. Um Bit and gone too fair to them. They got on top. They obviously must have had some words at half time. They got on top of us, right on top of us, and basically dominated the whole second half. We couldn't get out, um, and they got got on. They got on equal. Like they huffed and they puffed. They probably had twenty corners, um, and we def- we defended wellish, and they've scored. They've scored from one of the corners. Too fair took a deflection, but um, too fair they've hit the they've hit the post. They've had a few deflected efforts on the post, and I think Mark's made some really good saves. So in the end, um, although they'll probably be disappointed not to get all three, I think um, yeah, we would we were happy in the end to get out of there at a point. And of course, moving on to Cheddar at home. Yeah, just a crazy, just a crazy, crazy day. Made some changes. Um, whether that was right or wrong, I don't think it really affected the kind of what was to come within the first two minutes. Um, it was just madness. We one nil down within seven seconds from kickoff, um, and then we never kind of just settled down. And we were two nil down within just after two minutes. I think it was like two minutes fifteen seconds. You can get both goals in from the kickoff. It was just a just a horrid day when everything went wrong. Um, they got a, a third just before half time, and I think it just killed us off. Um, I think if we got in at maybe two nil, we may have had a chance, um, but it took us too long to score our first goal. Um, and fair play to Cheddar, they they worked their socks off and they thoroughly deserved the three points. And just goes to show that anyone will give you a game in this league and um, well well deserve three points for Cheddar. And that brings us to the present. You know, we've just drawn against Brislington, a very good Brislington side. Do you think that was a good response from the team? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's, I think it's probably the perfect game for us um, to have after the Cheddar game. Um, obviously, Brislington, very, very well-established, experienced side. Obviously, won the league last season at Canter and still had the same side together. So we knew it was going to be a really, really tough evening. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really, really good game. I think. I think everyone who come to watch would say it was a well fought, quite even ish game. Um, first half, I think we gave them a little bit too much respect, and I think they they were probably on top. Um, although we went in, we we're happy to get in at nil nil. Um, second half, probably a little bit more, bit more even. We got ourselves in front with, with half decent goal, um, and then they've kind of huffed and puffed and not really created too many chances and. Uh, scored a bit of a disappointing one from a, a second ball from a corner. Um, but all in all, probably any, uh, a fair result. Um, but yeah, happy happy with the response from um, from Saturday. You can't, can't really, um, in our position, you can't really begrudge a point against the reigning champions. Absolutely. And of course, we welcome Jack Neal into the side. How did you find his performance? <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> obviously he's, he's, been, he's been sent off in the 88th minute, but... Um, Apart from that, he's like he's he's got booked really early on. Um, not sure how how early in the game it was, but it was there was absolutely nothing wrong with the tackle. Everyone was saying it. it was it was a perfectly timed tackle, very aggressive, but absolutely perfect. And he's won the ball as clean as as clean as day. And the refs give him give him a yellow card, and then um, he's made a second one really late in the game, unfortunately. But yeah, apart from that, probably <laughs> and it's weird saying it seems it seems he got sent off. It's quite faultless. Um, so um. We're going to miss him for a game, but um, yeah, really happy with a, a new signing. Of course, attention now switches to the Vars this Saturday. Have you thought about the team for that game? <laughs> yeah, we're always thinking ahead. Obviously, um, going to Carlton is a local derby for us. We don't really have any many Wiltshire derbies in our league. 
Um, so to have a derby is is nice. Um, in in the FA Vaz, and we'll go there, and we know as much about them as they probably know about us, being very local, and we know how they're set up and how they play, and it, I'm sure it'd be a a, a fiery end to end game as 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 tonight was. Um, but as always, we'll be as prepared as prepared as possible, and um, knowing if we give our give our best performance. Um, possible we will progress but um but that being said it's going to be a very tough game isn't you don't go to to calm and have an easy one usually and i just want to touch on the supporters that were here this evening really strong numbers on a on a weekday evening what how did you think of that yeah brilliant brilliant like like we always say the support here is just um quite unrivaled in our league really um home in a wet more so away strangely but um Home support is always always very good, and I think they would. Have, I was quite embarrassed Saturday to be honest. So I, I, if if I could afford it, I'd give everyone their six pound back. But um, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But um, but yeah, we we needed to, to give them something tonight, and I think um, they would have gone home um, happy if if they were a Bradford fan. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Jamie, and we'll see you on Saturday. Legend. <laughs>